Armour in the heptathlon with one event to come. Second semi-final about to start on the uh, track. Having seen uh, Jakubczyk come through, the time to remember. Keep a note of that. Note to self, 6.63, Safo Antwi, who finished third in that first heat. Let's take you through the lineup for the second. Dalmas Obu from uh, Italy goes in lane one. Two-time Italian champion over 100 metres, born in the Ivory Coast. Hackberg, Eric Hackberg, 19 years old from Sweden goes in lane two, came through as a fastest loser. Ciampianu, very impressed with him in the uh, heats yesterday. Finalist in Zurich, if you're with us in the European Championships outdoors. There is CJ Uja, he's just seen his good teammate and training partner, Safo Antwi, finish third. This man, though, is a class above, 21 years old, just one of five British men to have gone sub-10 seconds outside. Christian Blum, 27 years old, five times German indoor champion, has been in great form this winter, finished second in his heat. He will push Uja, you fancy, all the way. Mancini, Pascal Mancini from Switzerland, Swiss indoor champion, did serve a two-year ban a couple of years ago. He uh, get some inspiration from uh, the Jungi. Ivaskovic goes in lane seven for Croatia. Zvonimir Ivaskovic and uh, Kamil Krinski from Poland, who ran a personal best of 6.68 in his seat, goes in lane eight. He was a semi-finalist at the Olympic Games in London in the 200 metres. So just two places, remember, up for grabs in the final guaranteed, plus two fastest losers across the three semi-finals. This is the second of them. The lineup in full, Obu in one Italy, Hagberg, Sweden in two, Cimpiano, Romania in three, Uja from Great Britain goes in lane four, Christian Blum, the German, next to him in lane five, Mancini, Switzerland in six, Ivaskovic, the Croatian in seven, and from Poland, Krinsky goes in lane eight. Uja, as in the heats, opting to wear tights. A little twitch, but the Roy first time successfully. And uh, Mancini got a good start. Here comes Uja, though, coming through the middle, dragging Bloom with him. And Uja gets there. 6.57, the winning time from CJ Uja, with Christian Bloom hot on his heels, hard on his shoulder. And more impressive running from the young man from Enfield and Haringey. 21 years old, doesn't seem phased by it at all. No emotion whatsoever. Calm down, my dear, he says, with that gesture. 6.57, the winning time just outside his season's best, but more impressive sprinting from uh, CJ Uja. Wasn't it just? Yes, he rocked a little bit before the gun and that set him back a bit. He didn't get a great start. He was playing catch up for about 40 meters, but when he got in front of the Uja there, 6.57 confirmed was uh, quite the better and a better start. And that had been another half meter on the German there. Uh, in second place, Christian Blum. Very close up behind them, there was Mancini on the near side of Switzerland. There wasn't much in it. In fact, Mancini given second place with a national record. 6-6-0 equals his national record. And uh, Blum given uh, third. Blum, 6-6-0. Oh, my word. It's down to the thousands for those two. And Blum just missing out on an automatic space in the final. So what can... Uh, what can the others do? 660, fourth in that one was 668 by Obu. So at the moment, Safo Antwi has a fastest loser spot with his third place in the first semi. But semi final three to come with Kilty.